Hello children, I'm going to read you a book all about growing and this book is called A Seed in Need and if we look at the cover of the book you can see we've got a lovely big flower here and we've got a little ladybird and we've got a butterfly and the ladybird's going to be asking some questions as we go through the book so look out for the ladybird on each page and also look out for any other garden creatures that you can see as well. Got a butterfly up here too. Okay, so a seed in need. A first look at the plant cycle. And there's seed on the title page. Deep. In the ground lies a seed. It's cold and the seed is asleep. What does a seed need to make it grow? Let me see. A seed needs air, water and warmth to make it grow. Seeds cannot grow when it's very cold. So can you see the speech bubbles? This is what the different creatures are saying to each other. In spring, rain waters the seed, the sun warms the soil and the seed wakes up. So the rain and the sunshine help many plants to grow in spring. That's right, says the snail. Can you see that this is the worm under the ground? And there's a little seed when it's starting to wake up. Cracks appear in the seed. Roots grow from the bottom. A small white shoot grows from the seed. Why do plants have roots? Roots hold the plant firmly in the soil and they soak up water too. So roots are like little straws that suck the water out from the soil to help it to grow. The white shoot pushes its way through the soil. It has become a seedling. See how long the root is becoming? A snail said, Plants need sunlight to make them big and strong. I like sunshine too. We all like sunshine. It helps us to stay healthy and be big and strong. The seedling turns greener. Its stem grows thicker and stronger and leaves appear on it. How do plants get food? That's a good question, isn't it? How do plants get food? The snail says, leaves use sunlight to make food for the plant. Gosh, so it uses the sun to make food. That's interesting. Children water the plant and get it, give it extra food. It grows taller and thicker and bushier. Hey, it's raining. When the weather is dry, plants need to be watered. So you might notice that with any of the growing that you've been doing at home, that you have to keep checking every day, sometimes twice a day, to make sure that the soil doesn't get dry, otherwise the, the seeds won't grow. It's May and the garden is full of creatures who shelter under the plant's leaves. So we've got a snail here and we've got a ladybird. What have we got up here? That's right, it's a spider. And the spider is talking to the... Who's that? Can you have a think what this might be? That's right, it's a caterpillar. And the spider's saying, Hey, caterpillar, are the leaves tasty? Looks like they are. Can you see that the caterpillar has been munching bits out of the leaf. 
A bud appears on the plant. At first it is small and green, but soon it begins to unfold. And the ladybird's going, <gasps> Achoo! Watch out, says the snail. The yellow dust pollen in the middle of the flower will make you sneeze. So the pollen dust is in the middle of the flower. The bud turns into a beautiful flower. Bees and butterflies come to visit. Look at the insects coming to drink nectar from the flower. So the nectar is a sweet liquid that, that, that the, animal, uh, the, the insects like to drink. Summer is over and the flower begins to droop. That means it's bending over. And the petals, can you see all the petals? They're starting to fall off. The petals fall to the ground. And the ladybird asks the snail, says, will there be any flowers left in the garden during the winter time? Yes, says the snail, snowdrops like winter best, but most flowers grow in spring and summer. Now this flower is a sunflower. In the middle of the sunflower are lots and lots of seeds tightly packed together. And the gardener carefully collects the seeds from the centre of the dead flower and he stores them in a tin. But if the gardener didn't do that, they would all fall onto the ground. And then the seeds will grow into new flowers next spring. So the snail is saying, not all seeds are collected by gardeners. Some seeds just fall to the ground and grow on their own next spring. That way, our garden will be full of flowers year after year after year. But the gardener is going to sow them in the soil again. I hope you enjoyed a seed in need and I hope that your growing at home has been going well too. So thank you for listening. Bye bye.